This video will show you how to create a new company file express setup way in QuickBooks. So I'm on the QuickBooks homepage and uh, the first thing you want to do is go to file, file menu and new company. Click that one. And the new screen will open like this one. It will say QuickBooks Setup, and you can click Express Setup right here, Express Setup, and we have a separate video for detailed start. You can watch if you want to go through detailed start setup. So let's we'll click this one, okay? And uh, at this point, all you have to do is fill out business name, industry. Uh, let's say uh, so the name is uh, uh, San Diego. Uh, software company okay so this happens to be software so this type of uh, industry is software yeah here information technology or you can just help you choose from this list right here so if industry just go through this list and uh, it will select whatever you need let's say on this one it's a uh, information technology so right here information technology and the moment you choose this industry type uh, it will also it will create accounts sort of accounts and certain uh, item list as you can see here list okay and uh, so let's go through this list and uh, you just pick one that it, if it's if it is not on the list, you know, this covers almost all, but as we as long as it's pretty close to the type of industry you are in, uh, that will do it. Okay, click OK. Again, okay, business type. This is your business type, uh, the way you fill out your tax return, like here from 1040. Let's say this is a single member LLC or sole proprietor or whatever, or yes, corporation. So you should have all the information ready, uh, and then you, you fill out your employer identification number. That's your federal ID number. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should be something like this, and then then you can just create a company. It will take uh, uh, you know, a couple of seconds. All right, right here. And in the meantime, uh, you should have some other business information ready. Okay. Okay, here we go. So now, ask for a... Uh, get all the details in QuickBooks and you underneath you will say no data to enter right now no problem you can always add it later uh, at this point you can add your bank account right here or start working let's say you already have your bank account set up just click this one and just put in your account name let's say uh, Chase checking and if you have account number you can just put your account number and don't put the bow open balance if you don't want to, uh, or you can do it manually later on. So I just want to create a Chase account, and let's create another one. Say so Chase account. Say so I have another checking account. So now it's confusing here. So at this point, if you have more than one uh, Chase uh, checking, uh, all you have to do is just add last four number like this like this let's say you have a savings account like this so continue okay uh, so you can say you know they want to sell you uh, so the printing text they say no it's always better to buy from uh, Costco or uh, uh, discount uh, from online, it's a lot cheaper than buying directly from these books. Continue, 
okay so that's done and on this one this one is the if you want to add uh, items let's add one item a service type or non inventory type let's just say service type continue let's say this more add sales continue and the price they vary let's say sales you can put the description sales as well right here continue okay and this is for the uh, you want to add customers vendors so you can import it uh, or basically import it from Excel too so you can do that later all right let's say start working the key here is to review your chart of accounts at this point. So this one. This happens to be accounting version, so you can have that. So chart of accounts is right here, uh, upper right corner. So you can go in from here under company or company right here too. And chart of accounts is right here. So let's click this one. You can see here the chart of accounts is already done. And uh, so they created hardware and software uh, if you don't need hardware. Uh, it's better to minimize uh, your chart of accounts, you know, make your a long list of chart of accounts, and uh, it will bring more confusion and it will miscategorize your expenses and uh, uh, it will uh, just create more problems later down the road. So let's just delete one or two if you want. Let's just sales hardware, you don't need it. You don't sell hardware. Let's right click it and click your mouse and delete the county right here. That's easy, and let's say uh, you don't want the sales income one. Let's delete again. So that this one happens to be your default one, so you have to keep that one. And you can so like these certain accounts is the default site. Uh, so same thing with uh, expense accounts, and uh, let's say uh, uh, you don't need depreciation expense. You just right click. like this and if you want to add new one same thing right click and add new like this one okay it's very simple you just have to click one here or clone if you want to get loan uh, post it in credit box right here okay and uh, this is one list and let's look at the item list we just created one here sales and uh, if you want to create another one, all you have to do is underneath, right click this one to new. You can duplicate this and just change the, uh, the title if you want, like this. So duplicate. So let's just say uh, this one is sales. It says service type. And you have to select account in here. It's the support one. It says support and maintenance. It says sales support. You don't have to put anything in here. Don't worry about the rate. Just save it. So you have uh, more than one. So, so you have uh, the rate to go now. So uh, uh, this is how you uh, set up new company file uh, express setup way. Uh, the detail type is on a different video. You can watch it if you want. Uh, so thanks so much for uh, listening. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel is BP Controller. BP Controller. So underneath you will see the red uh, button there. Subscribe. So all you have to do is click that red button, and you will you will subscribe. And uh, whenever we have a new video. YouTube will uh, email you and keep you updated. Thank you again. Bye.